Sweet guys, we're back with Flight Sim. Oh, I need to uh, send these out. Give me a second. Hi, hello, welcome. It's been a while since we've flown. I actually did a quick little flight earlier just to make sure that I remembered how to do it because I haven't flown in for flipping ever. So I'm kind of glad that we're doing this again. Part of me have actually missed flying somehow. But here we are. Here we sit. All right, we are flying from KSNA. Let me bring this up so I'm not speaking out my butt. Uh, John Wayne Airport, Orange County, KSNA, to Tahoe, California. Probably take about an hour and a half flight up there. Um, we are flying the Honda Jet. It is so far been a nice little, uh, very small biz jet. You know, if you've been around a couple of times, you know that I absolutely love, love the biz jets. Um, they're some of my favorite. I have not changed the tail on here to be an AVT, um, AVT tail number yet. I will do that eventually as I fly this more and I get a little bit more time like I did with my longitude. Um, still have the longitude. It's sitting at uh, Ontario International Airport in Southern California. So Ontario, California, pretty much just straight west of San Bernardino, kind of northwest of Riverside, but yet still straight east of Los Angeles is where that's out in the uh in the inland empire but yeah we're going to uh be running a cruise altitude of forty thousand feet today i'm not running um i'm not running realistic departures for altitudes wise for um for the flights today i will start doing that again once i get kind of more back into the flow of flying um but until then i'm kind of just doing it this way for now should be okay but that's kind of where we're uh where we're sitting at so we've got uh, let's do a quick little run list real quick we have our glide slope up we've got Oh, we've got our, our thing here. We have our path inputted in all the way down to runway zero. Once we get a little bit closer, we'll run in for the RNAV 11 approach into uh, KTRK. And we'll input in the altitudes there so that we can uh, VNAV in because this thing does have a VNAV system. But until then... We're just gonna flight level change our way up to 40,000 feet as we follow the uh, the H Hero 3 out of John Wayne Airport. Let's do it, guys. It's been a while since we've flown. Oh, and I don't have the, the speed bugs up and running. I need to figure out how to do that in the Honda Jet. Maybe we'll do that in flight for the landing. I'm not quite sure how to do that, but we'll figure it out. Let's get up off the ground first. Oh, one thing I did was flight director um, nav and let's turn autopilot on and flight level control and let's run this up to say 220 knots 
Flaps are up. Gear is up. Um, and we are rocketing off. Welcome back to flying, people. God, this thing is so gorgeous. We've got John Wayne Airport. LAX is up over here somewhere. Get the Southern California Mountains down south here. San Diego's down there. We are rocketing out nicely. I don't have much flight time in this plane, so we're going to see how it goes. Which is kind of why I was a little worried about um, dedicating the Evia tokens into changing my tail number. But we will get there eventually because, well, like I said, you know me and biz jets. We got our longitude right now. I need to rebuy the CJ4 and check out the updates that uh, the updates that working title has made. I haven't looked at what the weather is like. It looks like it's uh, calm and clear in Reno, Nevada. So that'll be nice. And as always with the uh, with the Garmin 3000, uh, you can connect it up to and into um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Navigraph, so I can pull the charts up inside with everything else. Pacific is looking gorgeous today. We got a little bit of cloud cover, but not too much. There's is that Catalina Island, I think, right there off to uh, pretty close to directly in front of us. We'll be kind of going over. You just saw it a second ago. Yep, that's Catalina Island. We do have an airport at Catalina. Not sure if we'll see too much of it because of the cloud cover, but as we continue our turn and our ascent, we should be skimming right over. How are we doing in here? We got, uh, yep, yeah, there's Catalina there that we'll be going over. And we're at 13.5, climbing to 40. But of four zero perfection back at it and back flying. All right, let me thirty one or about 3,000 feet a minute. That'll go down as we uh, gain altitude. 2999 is our current barometer. But yeah, this thing is, uh, all right, let's see. Load manager, uh, sim actions, which are awesome in the Honda Jet. Uh, preferences, oh, here's the speed bugs. There we go, landing. Get from Sim. Okay. Mm Our VNAV is good, weight and fuels. So we've got to do some. Let's get from Sim.
get from sim here we go landing get from sim now we have we're gonna all off on the takeoffs now okay so we just have to run that now we have our approach and our reference speeds okay awesome that was easy enough are we in clouds nope we are not and there you can see catalina island a little bit not terrible with the clouds we can see a little bit of catalina there we will be flying back over pretty much right above lax so depending on how the cloud cover is we should be able to see that we're at 220,000 feet now yeah we were flying right back over california here in a bit and then we just kind of continue our northerly trek we'll be right above san fernando valley and then over bakersfield you'll be able to see over Yosemite, so a lot of the wilderness and over Yosemite and stuff, and then the National Forest, right into the Truckee Tahoe Airport is where we're heading into in Tahoe City. So, kind of right there on the, uh, we'll be able to see Lake Tahoe and some of our approaching into, which will be kind of beautiful. It's kind of mountainous and very foresty. It's just a really, really beautiful area that we'll have some fun with. Really looking forward to, to seeing to seeing that from above. Twenty three thousand. Still going up. We'll follow from outside. If you do want to follow along or fly along too, um, or come catch up with me, I am flying live, so I can give updates to kind of where we are. But this jet does look nice. Honda Jet, the guys that made the Honda Jet did a pretty good job with the SimWise on this thing. This livery doesn't look half bad either. Kind of like the the black, almost gunmetal-ish with the stripes down the back. Fix it out. That looks nice. thinking about flying a lot more up in the Pacific Northwest, I think is where I kind of want to go once we get up to, uh, up to where we're going. I'm bouncing up to the Northwest a little bit. Here we go. This is an, up in Aberdeen, Washington, or Bowman. Uh, you know what? We might do that after this one, because that looks like it would be pretty to land into, and it gets us up there to the, the Pacific Northwest, like just outside of Aberdeen, right at the, the U.S.-Canadian border, I think. Oh no, it's not it's not up to the border yet. It's just Yeah, let's uh take that as our next one. Oh, 
Okay. So we got that going on. Practically this flight. So we know where our next flight after this is going to end up being. There is where that, uh, where Twin Star is. There's LAX, I believe. So we do get to see LAX a little bit. like details. Details look nice. It's quiet in here. Hey, Vinny, how are you? I'm back flying again. I took like a little over a month off of flying and I'm back. Flying Honda Jet Honda Jet today. Oh, the Honda Jet is and she flies like a dream too. Oh. It is just so smooth. The controls are real easy. Uh if you need to go if you want to go dark, it's not that bad to get her up and going and fired up. It's it's such a dreamy little uh, plane. We're currently flying from uh, John Wayne Airport outside of Los Angeles down in uh, uh, just south of Long Beach there. And we're flying up to uh, Tahoe. So the, uh, the Truckee Tahoe Airport up by Lake Tahoe, right at the, like, right across the California border from Reno and Carson City in that area up there. So that's this flight. And then from there, we'll go up further up into the Pacific Northwest, most likely. But this plane, I haven't flown it a whole lot. I've taken three or four flights in it. And so far, so good. It's the the VNAV works fairly well for the most part. It's not a hundred percent perfect, but it's a lot closer than most of the the planes outside the longitude are. Longitude tends to be one of the better ones for the VNAV because it can go full VNAV all the way down. Um, California, USA. We're running all California. So we're flying out of the Los Angeles area and heading north to central California. Um, we'll be flying right above Yosemite National Forest, the Yosemite Wilderness area. Like we're, it's going to be a lot of that kind of stuff, but we're running pretty much California today. And then we'll continue flying from there up um, into Washington. Um, Washington State, which is even more northwest U.S. up closer to Canada um, after this flight. So kind of slowly relocating ourselves up there but doing it in the Honda jet and then I'll transfer my, uh, I'll, t I'll transfer my citation up there. So we just left the Pacific ocean here and flying in onward from, uh, across California. And we're just about to get up to our cruising altitude. We're cruising today at 40,000 feet. <clears throat> at least that's our current plan is to cruise at 40,000. Yeah, I think the the high end for the Honda jet is for, for cruising is 43,000. 
So I tend to stay just under about 40, 41,000 is where I fly most of the biz jets. So the Citation can fly up that high. The the CJ4, the yeah, the CJ4 can fly up the uh, yeah, the CJ4 can fly up that high. Um, and the Honda jet is also up right around that 40,000 feet area. How am I doing for wind speed wise? Is there a, do I have a wind speed indicator on here? Hmm. I got a 20 knot 20 uh, tailwind. So this should be nice and fast. Now this does not have auto throttles. I don't think it has. Nope, that's Toga. Does not have auto throttles. Does have speed brakes. I forgot about that. Yaw dampener is on. Autopilot is on. We are in nav mode. Electrical fuel. So then I can change. So from here, we can utilize this panel to kick off over on the side so I can see where my fuel is at. My sides and center lobe in pounds. And then I can see what my fuel rate pounds per hour is up here as well. I can look at my electrical systems and see how they're all connected and running together. My environmental controls are all here. I can see my hydraulics to see how well I'm doing hydraulics wise. No, you don't have to control the fuel. It all pulls all that together. So it, uh, yeah, cross feeds. I can control into right and left, but um, it will cross. I have the cross feed set to normal. The anti-ice, the anti-icing system is all automatic. You can engine anti-ice if you need to. Um, they're on right now, but everything else is in normal. So it'll auto kick on and kick off as needed. Um, yeah, like it's it's a flying computer. And we got other statuses that we can run. Airspeed, why is it set to Mach 2? What, what, where? She does fly fairly fast, too. Let me, let me tab. Uh, fleet. Aircraft. Back out. Uh, Honda jet. Right around 422 knots at uh, 43,000 feet. So she books it. Ah, gotcha. up high. Sorry. Yeah, she's definitely a fun a uh, a fun plane to fly. Uh who made the Honda Jet? Now, uh the actual Honda Jet? Yes, it is the Honda as in the car company. But the 
developers it was it was developed by Marwin Grab. MG, yeah. So Marwin and Flight FX partnered up to debut it. So Flight, it, uh, so it's it's Marwin and Flight FX, who is kind of nice, and they're also working on the Sirius Vision jet, as well as this. And it is, but yes, the, the actual Honda, the Honda jet is, I believe a, um, by the same Honda. I can find a good Honda jet for run uh, Wikipedia. The Honda Aircraft Company is a subsidiary of the Honda Motor Company. So, yep, it's the same Honda people. was founded in 2006 and they do these very light um, passenger jets so the Honda jet was certified in 2015 and then the APMG and the elites were uh, certified in 2018 so it's fairly new in as in that they've been flying. The first delivery of a Honda jet was in 2015. So yeah. So it's only been like seven years. That was December, 2015. So it hasn't even been seven years since Honda jets were actually a thing, let alone uh, in game. I think this was, when was this released out? A couple of months ago, I think, is the beginning of June, I want to say. Yeah, the, la the, last, the last couple days, it looks like May 31st is when it was uh, released for Flight Sim. So it hasn't been around that long in Sim or as far as these things go in actual life too. So kind of interesting. All right, let's get our descent profile plopped in here. We are coming into runway 11. So let's go to here. Uh, let's go to charts, KSNA. Let's go with our approach. Nope, not KSNA. We want where we're going. KTRK. Uh, KTRK. Truck Tahoe. Approach our nav. Runway 11 is where we're coming in at. So we are a high up, somewhat high up in the mountains here. All right. Um, let's go to flight plan. This thing starts at Lekai at 10,800 feet. 
And then Fampoot 9700. Soyo at 8480. And then the elevation. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be at seventeen five sixty when we get to SWR. Perfect. Then we can then trunk this into our VNAV. And we got uh, about twenty three minutes till our descent starts. Slow down a little bit before we trip up too high up in there, but we're doing 0. 0.72 Mach, which is not bad. So knowing this, we want to go make sure we're down to 84.80. And then we'll VNAV it. We'll say 85, because 8480 is a little too specific for that. So we're doing fairly well so far. Yeah, we got about uh, 22 minutes until our top of descent, when we start our descent into, into everything. All right, so let's go back and we'll check these out. So that was aircraft systems. Let's look at utilities. Initialization, which has been done. We have our checklists that we can look at and we can go through. So... Those, those. Cruise, altimeter set, systems monitor. Descent, land field elevation, verify set, engine anti-ice is required, and then altimeters for transmission altitude is going to be set. All right. And then seat signs adjust to secure, passenger briefing, cabin signs, avionics is set. Set, set, set. Ooh, we probably want to set and make sure that our avionics are somewhat set for this as well. And right before landing, down, speed brake Flaps, landing, approach, airspeed, V wraps, out of highlight, y'all, you disengage. Just going through the checklist. There's a little idle, brake supply after touchdown, speed brake extended. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. After landing, and then the shutdown. Interesting. Cool. We do have all of that going on. Sim options. So we've got uh, some passengers going on here. Shows us all of that stuff. Our prefs are set. And we can go back to our statuses this way. Just like here, we can go back to our map. We can see where we're at here in reference to everything. And we have our time to descent at 1951 or 52. Um, so it gives us our VNAV profile and how it's all going. Oh, the thing I want to do is for the VNAV. I want to look at the 
Is that 118 zero? Ground is 118.3. Oakland Center is 127.95. Arnav, ba, 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 the tower. I think that's our. Is that? Uh, I'm trying to remember how to read these charts. I think this is our chart or our uh, our Arnav. Squaw Valley VOR, Street and Landing Runway 11, El Nav, okay. We're not doing the straight in, but that's fine. Nah, we're good. Signature should be 11400. Let's verify that. Oh, we're not coming in from Signa, it's SWR. Which I don't have on the chart, which is fine. All right, well, I think we'll be fine. The nav radio should be at 118.0, I believe. One. One eight? Maybe that's not right. What is my RNAV nav radio? Or unless it's not even wait, that's ILS is an RNAV. Oh right, it's a GPS. Right, 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 right. Cancel that. We'll be alright. Eh, we're fine. We'll figure it as we go. I mean, worst comes to worst, I'll hand fly it in once we get down there at a certain level. All right, so we're back at that. We got uh, 14 minutes or so till till we pop downwards. Head back out, looking out over California. We got mountains off to uh, our right or the east, and some mountains off to our west.
she is just looking gorgeous. I will be right back, guys. I need to go check something real quick. So I'm going to leave it here as we're just cruising. So give me a second. I will be right back. Let's get my ears back in. Back in the cockpit. We got about 12 minutes till descent. Or our top of descent. Oh no. Okay, so you can't preemptively toggle on VNAV. You gotta do it when you get to the right spot, apparently. What's our first target for our descent? Uh, Lakai at 10, 800. And then we can step down from there. All right. So 10,800 feet. Like I said, still figuring out how this plane is, uh, compared to what I'm used to flying, which is the longitude or even going back a little bit far, the CJ four, um, there's a little bit of differences in this and the longitude, which I'm kind of used to longitude because of, um, used to longitude. So that's just what I flew a lot. And it's the other one that runs the, uh, the G 3000, which I think I need to update anyway, before I start flying the longitude again, though this plane does use the G 3000 uh by default as well so it gets updated through the flight sim but overall um it utilizes the working title stuff by default which is kind of nice All right. 
right. This is my 406th flight with Aviatife. Interesting. I like I I really like this uh this add-on this uh this career add-on. It's a really good career add-on and I I really appreciate it. It's uh as far as add-ons go, I'm I've really really liked it. It's a good little system. It runs mostly off of a web and then has a lightweight uh a fairly lightweight um app that uh that connects into flight sim and goes from there all right we'll go and watch from the outside again i guess for a bit um wait how much longer was that on the about seven minutes okay We'll sit out here for the next few minutes and absolutely love this thing. Not sure if this will completely replace out my longitude flying, but... You and I really should do. I should build my virtual airline as a hundred percent biz jet. That's what I might do. I might just run exclusive. Ooh, we're coming in. We'll be there shortly, actually. Look at those mountains. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Oh, I love Central California a lot.
coming up top of descent in a few minutes. You know what we should just run this all the way down to 8500 instead of stepping it i think that'll be good yeah i think that'll be the best way to do this Two and a half minutes. And then we'll V-nav it. Now the question is, if I do, if I rerun my, okay, if I rerun my VA to be all BizJet stuff, where should I be based out of? Should I be based out of the US or should I hop over to Europe and do a European thing and especially if we're going to run some regional stuff. Because if we go, okay, so if we go European, obviously we have all of the, the English and the European cities as well. But then we can also pop down to like, uh, Cairo and Dubai and the UAE side of things is I think I got to look at mm, let us okay we can pull up a little nav map at some point and we can build uh radiuses of how far each of the biz jets will fly and we might as well do the regionals as well because of those longer ones we might just do regionals Three, two, one of VNAV. And we have started our descent. Oh, she worked beautifully. Well, let's do that. Let's pull up little daft map on my other screen. And obviously, I'm not sharing that. We're flying and doing that.
Lumen, there's Iraq, Syria. Trying to think of where we could base out of. Hmm. Honestly, so if we did end up doing Europe, it would pretty much be Europe, and we could run regionals that way. I could do a whole Middle East stuff and base out of, like, Cairo, but I'm not even sure... I'll have to look up and find out what the UAE to anywhere in Europe is. But I might just base it out of the US then. And then the question becomes, where in the US do we run this system? We run East Coast, Northeast, do we run down Florida? Do we run California? I really don't want to do California stuff. But, like, where should the home base be for this to be somewhat decently halfway profitable-wise? Well, I guess I'm not even worried about profitable. But just for the regional, where should my regional flights run? If I'm going to run regionals, I want to figure out where the regional flights would run to and from. Because let's look at the distance specs for the CRJs, the Bombardiers. So the 900 and the 1,000, let's see, 1,600 for the 1,000, 1,500 nautical miles for the... 900 and the other ones are at 1378 so with leaving some fuel behind thousand miles 12 and 14 what i need to do actually you know what we'll, we'll do this eventually as i'm planning this out i'll end up opening up uh because I could also place them wherever I wanted to, right? So what we could technically do is I could have different regions set up. So for like the CRJs, if you want a regional flight between a couple of airports or in like a triangle fashion between three airports, we can always rent offices and set up for flights that way for certain times that people want to fly or whatever and then or they can kind of create their own and control their own stuff with biz jets that's what i might do i might just open up for a regional side we can build it for people and how they want to fly if they want to fly regional which will all be uh designed between offices so you fly the same the same route constantly i guess is the way that would run and then for if you want to fly biz jets then you have a lot more control over what you fly that's kind of a good idea actually And then we'll pay based on flight hours. So what we'll do is we'll set up these things. We'll figure out how long it should take, what the profits are, and what the, the pilot will get paid based off of that as well. 
and I should come up with a formula for that as well so that people can fly for me, have the formulas set up. In Aviatife, in order to be to join a VA skills, you have to be able to do to get the freelancer unlocked. Um, for virtual airliners. And I don't remember how much... Oh, I can probably just log in on my second account, my YouTube account, and find out. Uh... Company... Skills. Here it is. Oh, I already have it unlocked. Dang it. Um, how much is it to unlock that? Thousand. Thousand to unlock Freelancer. Okay. So it's a thousand to unlock the Freelancer... God, look at that lake. That is gorgeous. Is that Lake Tahoe? There's no way I'm already at Lake Tahoe. I'm still at 20,000 feet. Yes, it is. Oh, right. Because I'm still at 20,000 feet, but that's okay because... Okay, 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 okay. Right. Oh, uh, okay, so 10.8 is what I really should be at. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get this back up to 10.8. Because we flatten out at 10.8 for a little bit to hit our next top of descent to get down to where we need to go. To runway 13. Man, is it gorgeous in here. Ooh, we're getting a little buffering. Little bit of turbulence. Just a bit. Right, because we land at 5,000 feet. So it's like this, but man, it's 5,000. So we're at 12,000 above. Okay, 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 okay. That's fine. We're we'll coming in here shortly. All right, so we'll need to build. If you're flying a biz jet, um, we'll do a certain amount. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Because it's not going to be. I'm not too worried about a. At a finances thing. Not terribly worried about the finances. I have plenty of money. I don't want to lose a lot of money, but I also am not worried about a whole lot of stuff. Damn, this is gorgeous up here by Tahoe. Holy crap. I 
I love the mountains. Absolutely love the mountains. This game is just something else on the beauty factor. Holy crap. Sorry, I'm looking at a couple of things real quick, too. Excited about this one, aren't we? Ooh. Gotta slow down a bit. We're at 10 8. Now we altitude select down to 85. Thirty seconds to top of descent. Once I complete the turn, oh, that looks so beautiful! Look at this out here. I forgot how awesome that was. All right, now we're counting back down to the top of descent again. We've got 8,500 set. We're going to V-nav because this thing's already started up, so... Here soon... We should start prepping out the plane. Uh, we really need to start prepping out the plane now for getting ready for landing. All right. We need to slow away the F down. We need to set for flaps.
Oh, really? You're not down? Apparently it wasn't. Go. What a landing. We made it. Welcome to mountains, people. Nabs are so much fun. Probably screwed a lot of stuff up on that, but we made it. We landed. We're in one piece. We did not crash. I think that's what matters in the long run. Make sure I don't remember what my speed brakes toggle is. I'll have to look that up because I don't remember what the speed brake tog toggle is. Meanwhile, welcome. To Tahoe. Check this out. Get the door open for people to let people off. We got ground power hooked up. Nice. We did it. Nice. All right.
Okay, now... We were going to fly up to Washington, weren't we, in the H-Jet? I don't think I want to do that because I don't necessarily like where it's going to be going. Well, Bowman's not terrible, actually, as a, as a place, I don't think. Let's find out. So we'll start at KTRK. And let's see what Bowman looks like. K-H-Q-M. K -H QM a Bowman. Hello, how are you doing? Um, we do have an ILS landing. Hour and forty five minute flight. Up to Bowman? Yeah, we can do that. We can definitely be doing that. We'll check in then. Make sure that we have the fuel that we need. Sorry, we're doing this all on the web feature. That's fine. Let's get our flight plan up and running. Let's see what it suggests that we do. Oh, I've got my video idea now. All right. Um, give me a second. We're looking at Sim Brief and looking at this flight. And then we'll input it in down this way. So 24 ILS. Yep, yep, yep. Um, we are departing from runway 02 with a Tahoe one. Departure. Yep, 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 yep. That works. Regenerate the flight. And we're heading up the Pacific Northwest. Truck E to Hokium, which is in outside of Bowman. Up in Washington. So we fly out of California. Well, we're at here, California, fly out, over, and up. Run it all out. And then we have an ILS here, Ocean Park, wrap around, go right over Aberdeen, Washington, right into a Holocom, which is near... I thought it was Bowman. Ah, eh, might not be. But this works. I believe this is right, right? Um, KHQM. Yep. ILS24. We're doing flight conditions for live. And start off on our way too. Let's fly it.
We got it. She looking beautiful and looking good. We are going to be running at 40,000 feet once again, because we can do that. Perfect. Uh, flight on. Nav mode is set. Oh, I do need to kill one engine real quick to start tracking. And then we can bring the engine back up before it shuts off. Yep. We get a little over an hour on this flight, it looks like. Um, we are hauling four passengers from Tahoe up to Bowerman, just outside of Aberdeen, Washington. We have that set. Let us real quick, some actions. Nope, load manager, go to initialization. Run our pre-flights real quick. All protection is good. Elimination. Done, done, done. Weights and fuel. Let's get all this information from the sim. We'll get you from the sim. We'll get the fuel from the sim. We are takeoff stuff from the sim. And next. And then we can get all of our... Um, V speeds, V1 rotate and V2 speed bugs. Often good. We are set there. We are set there. Uh, anti ice stuff all set. We have our spoilers retracted. Gear is in takeoff and approach mode, so it's in takeoff mode. Our, our uh, spoilers are gear is down. Obviously, we have good connectivity. I think we are ready to rock and roll this thing. Give me a second. I'm checking what this message was. Oh man. Michelle Nichols, who played your heart in Star Trek in the Star Trek franchise, has passed away. Oh, that sucks. Okay, forty thousand feet. Nav is on. Flight director is toggled. Breaks off. We have achieved speeds. Airspeed is alive.
V1. Rotate. Gear up. Ups up. Autopilot on. Flight level change. Reset our speed up to... Whoa, hello. 200 knots. Tell me we're going to miss that mountainside right there. Oh, yeah, we'll miss it. Flying up out of Tahoe. Oh, let's verify my flaps are actually up. Yep, flaps are up. Gear is up. And we are ascending to 40,000 feet. On our way to Washington. Sorry, making notes out to uh, the Aviatife developer. So flight 407 is airborne and going. So far, I'm really liking this Honda jet, like a lot. Um, she's a really smooth flight and I, I like it. I, I really do. We need to come up with a good Piloting and we're flying up, up, and away. All right, we're we looking at the cockpit. What's my caution run for? Yaw dampener off. My bad. Okay, we can turn off those speed bugs. We'll flip. landing speed bugs on so that is done over and taken care of now
All right. Um, what was I going to be looking at? Oh yeah, flight plan. We are going to be doing while we're going up. We need to get this figured all out, shall we? Um, let's see. Flights. You are current flight. KHQM. So we go to charts. KHQM is in approaches to ILS 24, which is where we're coming in at. Our located beacon would be 1087. But until then, we need to make sure that this is set correctly. Twenty-one thousand. The twenty-three hundred. Okay. Uh, home here. We'll go down to our flight plan, and we'll come down here to where we're at. Twenty one hundred twenty three hundred. All right, let's see if we can't figure this out here. All right, so at Pugic, we need to be at twenty eight hundred feet at On Napi, we get twenty three hundred feet. And then at Navy, we need to be at twenty one hundred feet. Nice. That's easy enough then. All right. Um, let's look at our audios and radios. This should be set to... Wait, seven, maybe? All right, and then I can just toggle that on, hopefully, when we get there. I'm not sure why it's not getting auto set, because it should. But this will... Oh, we're going to turn now. Are we running slow? We're running very slow.
All right, top of climb. We're back on track again now. Okay. Thought that was a bit on the strange side for the top of climb, but we're all right. We're still heading up. Up, up, and away. Okay. We still good. We still good. We still running it. We're 300 nautical miles to Kinsey or whatever. We should be at our top of our descent here shortly. Or our top of ascent. Top of climb. Hopefully shortly, if this all keeps going the way it's supposed to be right now. Should be at 2990. And it is a clear day over Central California right now. Over Tahoe National Forest. And the mountains are just looking gorgeous today. Not really gonna be running over many major cities until we get close to Portland. Up in Oregon. Otherwise, we're pretty much just running through California. I mean, we might be able to see a little bit of Redding, but we're way too out to see too much of Redding, California. So it's pretty much just gonna be mountains most of the way. I mean, there's a bunch of little towns, but it's mostly national natural national forests throughout the way and national uh, mountains and stuff national mountains national parks that's what I'm looking for we got a bit of a tail crosswind so we're gonna be bouncing around a little bit but not terrible amount I don't think But here we go. Another flight up, almost at the top. And then uh, I think the VNAV profile automatically gets calculated once we get up there. We'll be able to see where we're at, how we're doing. All of that fun stuff. Give me a second. I need to go check uh, my laundry swap out real fast. So uh, let's get outside the plane and we can see it from there. External view, a little bit off over the thing. You can see the mountains. Is that side better or is this side? I think this looks just, yeah. We'll set it here. I'll be right back, guys. Give me a, a second.
All right, we're back. We are back. How are we doing? Where, where, where do we end up with? Still at uh, 220 knots. We're probably not top of descent just yet. No, but we're stalling out on it pretty close at 37. Let's go ahead and drop our speed a little bit to get a little bit more climb out and see if we can't get the rest of this up. Popped up pretty quickly. We can always increase our speed back up and then utilize the throttle to run that. For the climb, let's finish climbing and then we'll be out to the races. Still in California. Redding is off to our left-hand side. Not sure if we'll be able to see it. Let's see if we can see Redding. Not really seeing where... Oh, it might be... Hmm, not sure. Maybe up over here somewhere? That might be Redding. Kind of hard to tell not that very big maybe it's this out here either way we're flying it all right we shovel up the last 500 feet or so to 40,000 feet have what's the wind look like so 32 knot side to tailwind so we're getting buffered out a little bit not terrible amount but a bit sweet I think after this flight, we'll probably, well, hmm. might fly something into Seattle to finish up, or I might be jumping over to pubs. I don't know yet. We'll have to see, but this is looking pretty good. We got a little ways to go on this flight though overall not terrible not a terrible terrible jumping and flying okay so we got 34 minutes until the top of descent now I understand my descent profile. But now we're down to 280 pounds per hour. How much fuel what does our fuel look like? Oh, we got a crack ton of fuel still.
Oh, that's left and right. 270, 280. So that's like 560 an hour. Hmm. Yep, that makes sense. Center quantity is good. Right wing, left wing. And then our total quality uh, quantity of fuel. Active nav is FMS. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hey, that works out quite nicely. Just dawned on me, we have an, ooh, that's a pretty mountain. What are you? Damn, look at that thing, that is gorgeous and jetting up. Which mountain is that? So if we go up. That is Mount Shasta. Man, is that beautiful. Mount Shasta. I saw Mount Shasta when I was a kid. It's been a long time since I've been out up there. A little bit of cloud build up over here. The winds hit me like this. But Shasta is gorgeous. up in Northern California, which will be departing California shortly into Oregon. Then we'll fly through Oregon. Into Washington. But we'll be well in our descent before we get to Washington. Man, is that awesome. we at we're 30 minutes from our descent speaking of we need to figure out what we're doing for descent uh flight plan am i running just down to 2800 looks like it's gonna be 2800 for a while before i need to get down to 2300 
and then we'll be at 2300 for a hot minute before I get down to 2100 and then we're in for landing so we need to preset for 2800 and we'll figure it out from there so altitude select to 2800 there we go up there we're good here we're good people not much to do once you get up to cruising altitude and you just kind of go you just stir uh kind of there and you just kind of roll with the punches agricultural stuff down and around. Got a bit of stuff going on, but not too bad. There we go. Yeah, not bad at all. This is all set and ready to go. How far out from Kinsey are we? Still 85 nautical miles from Kinsey. Mm, some beautiful terrain out here. All right, we'll, we'll go back out to the external. Check out some of this terrain. if I buy this in flight if it will change my tail number in flight uh, 
does not appear so. Though that would be funny. Let's see something here. We'll go to the cockpit. No, it's still N49617. I did change it to AVT Hotel 0831. So that's been done. So now both of my main aircraft have customized tail numbers in Aviatife. Nice. Just in time for me to figure out how to win the large category again for the month of August. This is last day of July. The league will reset going into tomorrow. There's not too many people that run the large category. It looks like the winner is getting 15,000. You just need 15,000 points to win that out. That'll be easy. So, uh, Anal Logistics is 146,000, the heavy. So, that's going to be a tight one to run up. It looks like it's pretty hefty in the medium category, too, with multiple at 20, two of them at 20,000 or more, or real close to it. Light category, 4,200. And then the basic category, eight, Len Air, 18,604 points. Jesus. That's a lot. All right. So, so the scoring works. Every nautical mile traveled, you get a point. For every $1,000 earned, you get a point. And then you get bonus stuff. Bonus percentages for landing FPM, flight per minute and then plus bonus if you own you fly with it owned and not rented which i get so i get a little leg up on that but for every nautical mile you get a point so yeah looks like we'll be doing our longitude running some long distance hauls again because that was really doing it for me last time that was kind of nice I, I i i had fun with that I had a lot of fun with that from the last run. All right, where are we at in the flight? We are 21 minutes from our top of descent. I'm going to go check my clothes again. We're going to run this up and out. Oh, that looks like a crater. That's gorgeous. That crater with the lake in the crater, that looks absolutely gorgeous. I will be right back.
All right. Where are we at here? There we go. Sorry, I'm doing like five things at once here too. We're getting some uh, stuff getting shipped in and we thought it was gonna come next Saturday, but it's actually coming on Wednesday. Um, It just means I need to get some scrambling to get stuff prepared and ready to go. All right, let's look at this. Let's see where we're at. We are 14 minutes till the top of descent. We have our descent profile set. We have our shit set in here, as well as our 2,800 feet inputted in. And we're good. We are good. I'll turn this back on. All right. We got another half hour or so before landing this thing. About 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes, probably once we get everything else kind of generated in with it. And that'll be good. All right. What time is it supposed to storm tomorrow? Oh, I got lots of work I gotta do. It's supposed to rain all fucking day.
All right. Oh, that's gonna be a lot. Okay. Tuesday is gonna suck. Oh, I should go do that tonight, actually. After this flight, I should... I'm trying to figure out what to do. All right, where are we at? We are less than 10 minutes from descent all right we can pop this back up on the outside and look around there's some mountain jettisons i mean there's lots of we're all in the mountains there are some nifty peaks off to the right whole northwest is just gorgeous. I think we're... Oh yeah, we're halfway through Oregon. That's Eugene right down here. I had a friend of mine in boot camp, and then we were on the same ship together. We, or he was from this town right here. Eugene.
Yeah, he was from Eugene, Oregon. That's what we're flying right past right now. That's kind of cool. And then Bend is off that way. Wait. Oh, way out there. I don't think... I don't think I can see Bend. Flying out and flying the runs. That's kind of cool. Good old Eugene flying off. We got more peaks out over here. Oregon's full of them peaks. Now, Let's see, what are we pulling off here? five pallets. It has been a while. Who let's see, save the one three. Uh, but, 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 uh, ooh. Now I'm curious. Now I'm curious. Do a flip, uh, not right now because this is a, uh, a, uh, um, airline mission for, and I, I've, I am an hour and change into the flight and yeah, I don't want to ruin this one out. Once this flight is done, I will see. Unfortunately, I don't recognize the name. I am sorry. Yeah, I'll do a free flight after. We're flying over uh, Oregon right now, heading in toward Washington, where I'll be flying into pretty close to Aberdeen, Washington. What an Xbox Series S for the simulator? Oh, nice. I've not played it on the Xbox. Nice. 
Nice. God, I haven't owned an Xbox since the 360. The guy from when I called you, I'm not going to say it. I want to trigger you. <laughs> Oh, that's all right. I'm glad you came back. Uh, this is the Honda Jet. Um, it's a small biz jet. We're at 40,000 feet. But it is a fun little jet. It is internally it runs off of the Garmin 3000 from working title um oh shit I came in just the right time because we're about ready to start a descent uh VNAV there we go oh it is a peach to fly All right, starting our descent into pretty much Aberdeen, Washington area. We're still out over uh, Oregon. We should. I think we're going to be a little too far to see Portland, though. Right above Salem. All right. We got that dropping down and in. Fly around 3,500 feet to get a good view. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to see. There's Salem right below us. Salem, Oregon. Excuse me. Yeah, the Honda Jet is a really nice little biz jet. I, um, I fly a lot of the biz jet stuff. So it is... I fly a lot of the citations, and then I got this thing when it released. But then I took a uh, month, month and a half off of flying at all. Oh, you've been to Salem? Nice. I took about a month, month and a half off from flying, and uh, my first day back, I figured I'd fly the Honda Jet a bit. Uh, simulator actually helped teaching geography somehow since the world is simulated? Probably. Possibly. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. Um... Can I do a flight sim more? I'm planning on doing more flight sims. Especially on Sundays. Do a few hours of flight sim every Sunday, I think, is what, I'm a, is what I want to start doing. Oh, appreciate it, Jasper. But yes, I am planning on doing a flight sim every Sunday. As well as, I think I'm going to be doing some flight sim videos. Um, I want to record doing an around the world um in a which plane was it give me a second looking up my notes in the tbm 930 i'm gonna do a around the world flight at tbm 930 and i think that one i'm gonna record and um not sure how all i'm going to record it yet i've got some ideas of what i want to do yes with rear fuel stops so they would be realistic stops uh live weather that kind of a thing which plane should i use
work of getting some cloud cover in. What is the weather going to be like in Aberdeen? Uh, scattered clouds, not too bad. Yeah, I, I didn't want to have it too big because, I mean, I've flown around the world a couple of times in the Citation Longitude. But I wanted to do something that was a bit smaller and a little bit more challenging, and I thought flying around the world in a prop plane would be fun. So we're going to do... I, I think I'm going to break down the videos in sort of vlog style. We'll have some external, um, some cockpit stuff for, you know, takeoff and landings. Um, I think we're going to do some, I've got some other ideas of stuff that I want to, to kind of do with it. Um, but yeah, we're going to have each, I don't own the DCs actually. DC three. That could be fun as well. Wait, is the DC three launching free in November? Oh. Nice. Douglas DC-3 was an aircraft featured in the upcoming anniversary edition. And I, once it comes out, the twin outer? Ooh. What is, what is, what is, what is? Who makes a twin outer? The twin outer DHC six. See, the problem with that is, is that it only has an effective range of 971 nautical miles. So, um, that is a very difficult to do transatlantic and coming like coming back around is the other thing but I've I've also got to look cuz if so if we're going how is it nautical miles with 1000 nautical miles make jumps like I can know I can go up through Canada but will it make the jump at 1000 nauticals from Greenland it should go from Greenland to Iceland without a problem but Iceland into Europe is where Ooh, I don't know. I honestly don't know if it'll make that jump or not. Because I'm trying to remember how far... You can fly from Iceland to the UK in less than a thousand nautical miles. So that's the Twin Otter and Glide Right. $35 for the Twin Otter. I might do that at some point.
but that's one of the reasons why I was I was looking at using love the setup well thank you it's one of the reasons why I was looking at using the the the, the DBM or the TBM rather is I know that the range on it is good enough to do it I don't necessarily like flying the King Air I do the King Air but I don't I'm not a big fan of how the King Air flies um, I do like up a little bit more. There we go. I do like uh, I have been flying the the TBM quite a bit. The King would definitely work, um, but I like I I don't know. I, there's just something about flying the TBM that I really enjoy flying that plane. Maybe it's because I've spent so much time in the longitude and in this plane that I'm just used to the the Garmin 3000 setup. All right, how are we doing on this? Bottom of descent in eight minutes. Has the, I don't think the PC-12 has been released yet, has it? God, the Palladies PC-12 looks gorgeous, though. Holy crap. 2022... Simwork Studio says it have it ready in the middle of 2022. Alright, Jasper, thanks for coming by. Thank you for subbing as well. I appreciate it. Uh, 2342? That's Europe somewhere. I don't think they have, let's see, simworkstudios.com. Oh, let's pop this back out external if I'm gonna be doing this. Uh, products. Light sim. Kodiak 100 has been released. The Vans RV14 is released. The Zenith STUL is released. No, the PC12 has not been released yet. Netherlands. I appreciate you coming out, Jasper. I really do. Thank you. It means a lot. Get some sleep, mate. Make a wrap port wine for dinner. Ooh, that sounds yummy. That sounds really yummy. Yeah, so uh, the, 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 the new PC-12 has not been released yet. We're still waiting for it. Hopefully comes out but soon, but... Not there just yet.
What town is this here that we're going over? Astria Regional Airport. Stevens is nearby. US 30 we just passed over. Holy crap, that goes right through past my house too. <laughs> That's funny. I need to watch my speed. Gotta get a haircut because your hair was like a mop. Mine's getting there. Not gonna cut anytime soon though. I like having not just hair but long hair again. So what's the 113? The save the 113 productions. What's the 113 mean? Florida East Coast Steam Locomotive 113. Interesting. We are three and a half minutes from bottom of descent. It's up for sale. All right, 2,800 once we hit there in 13 nautical miles. So that should be out. Don't know who's going to buy it. How much are they selling it for? At least half mil. Yeah, that sounds about right. Those things generally aren't that cheap. All right, we've got our speed bug set. We're rolling into this whole nice little generalized turn. That's weird how that all set up. Hmm. wonder how that's going to work. I'll we'll find out. I may just take over it and just toss it down. At some point when we get up there, we'll see. I have little scattered clouds here and there. Back out to see the Pacific. Haven't seen that since we left uh, Southern California a few hours ago. About a minute until we ripped. Yeah, the old steam. Um, every year or so, we go to a big steam show up in... I think it's in Michigan that we go up to and look at some of that old stuff. And so this old steam stuff is really cool.
Yeah, Heston. A uh, Heston. I think it's been a couple of years because I don't. I think it's been. Hills was the last time we went uh, pre COVID. No, it's not the Buckley Old Engine Show. It's the Heston. Uh, the Heston. It's at the LaPorte County. Oh, it's in Indiana. It's in Heston, Indiana, not Michigan. So it's in LaPorte, Indiana, or outside of LaPorte, Indiana. And 155 acres, and they've got different gauge railroads and a bunch of other steam-powered stuff that they run. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. I I appreciate it every time i go it's just really cool but the buckley old engine show huh hmm. buckley old engine show that's in buckley michigan where is a buckley michigan That is, oh, that is way up there. Okay. That is, how far would that be? Um, directions. Home. That would be about four and a half hour trek up there. Uh, what's my next setup down here? It is 20... 2300? And then after that, we're down to 21 at Netty. But that should be... See, this is what's worrying me right now, is I'm not sure... Oh, that's going to all work up. That looks a little jumbled. Yeah, the the Heston the Heston one is really cool. I really enjoy it. Like I said, I, I, I enjoy going out there. Um, there was a county when i was a kid in lagrange county indiana they always had a um steam and gas show just kind of a small thing at the 4-h fairgrounds every year and that was really kind of cool it was just a bunch of people that that all ran old steaming steaming old gas stuff they'd bring it bring all their stuff down to the fairgrounds and we would do they would do a whole presentation show need to go there oh down in heston yeah it's it's cool uh let's see heston
Hey, Hills, we should talk to your dad and see if they're planning on doing a trip up to Heston this September. See if they're if they're planning that trip or not, because I th think we'd be all right. We should talk about it. At least figure out if, if he wants to go. I'm not even sure he wants to go. I need to skip over. We need to go from 06U direct to Nieti once we hit that point. There's got to be a way to delete this. I cannot remove it for whatever reason. I don't know why. Altitude select down to 2100. All right, we need to drop everything down and start prepping in. All right, here we go. There's my airport up over here.
All right, we've got locator stuff and the ball. Twenty one hundred feet. There's my radio nod. Gear is down. Let's go ahead and run landing flaps. No, 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 Still good for the ball. Let's slow down to approach mode. All right, here we go. Time to land the thing. Right there, land this baby. We should be buttered on this one. Like a butter. Yep. Always like butter. Set her down and drop her. It is a gorgeous airport. I'm pretty happy with that landing. I came in a little shallow, but leveled it out. Like I dropped like a stone and caught it. And then we were fine. This is a really nice airport. Like as far as small airports go, it is gorgeous.
This is... Uh, KHQM. Free flight. What should I do for free flight? Yeah, this is KHQM just outside of Aberdeen, Washington. What should we do for a little bit of free flight? Do stunts and maybe mess around. What should I fly and where should I fly it? Let me see what, we'll look at my airplane list, my aircraft list and see what I have. And then we'll figure out where. I haven't done stunting. I haven't flown like this is, I've flown, this is my third flight that I've flown today. Two of them on, on, uh, on stream. And APN. In like, uh, last two months. So this was kind of knocking the rust off my, uh. But man, is the Honda Jet worth flying. God, this thing is just so much fun to fly. The extra 300? I think so. Like I said, when we get in, I can't remember exactly what all I have. When we get this thing done and we get it parked up and everything, we'll uh, we'll go check to see what my aircraft list is. But this is kind of a cool little airport. I mean, it's kind of on a peninsula stuck out here, just kind of jettisoned out. This is really a cool little airport. I think I do have the extra 300 though. Delta runs here? Uh... KHQM, I doubt they run out here. The runway is not that long. Let me, I'll find out how long the runway is here in a minute. RJ might fly out here, but Here we go.
pull that down, disconnect the in or just shut the engine off, finish flight. Uh, 36.53 feet per minute. Oh, that's butter. Uh, the runway length is only 5,002 feet. That is a small runway. We got 36.53 FPM on the landing. I stuck that landing. Not my best landing yet, but it's way up there. CRJ only needs 4,500 to take off. <laughs> All right, what do, what aircraft do I have? All aircraft. We got air buses, we got pit specials. We got those, we got the bombardier set 1000 through 900. The SR-22, the NX Cub, the X Cub stuff. The Concorde, there's the TBM. We got the diamond aircraft run throughs. We get the extra 330LT. Uh, there's the Honda jet. We got the GMB aircraft and got gravel. That thing's freaking fast. Uh, let's see, McDonnell Douglas. We got the Pilates, the PC6 sets. We got the Robins. We got all the Beechcraft set. Obviously, all of my Cessnas. The Velocicopter. The Zillins. F-18 is actually not as maneuverable as I thought it would be. But, all right, we're going to go F-18. Where are we going? Where are we leaving from? Where shall we fly the F-18 in all of its magical glory? APN? What's the ICAO for APN? This one? Or Buru Island. This one here. Yeah, county regional. Ah, up in Michigan. All right. That's the Mackinac Bridge, right? Ooh, we could go check out the Mackinac Bridge. So we'll take off out of here and we'll just fly down the... Uh, fly up the coastline to the Mackinac Bridge. How's that sound? North toward uh, the lake, and then hang a left and follow the shoreline all the way down to Mackinac Bridge. Let's do it. Hmm. I probably should have... Let me close this. That doesn't yell at me. I probably should have set the weight while I was... Oh, I can set that probably from in here. Or set the fuel... All right, free fly. Land at Mackinac. Yeah, we can see. Uh, okay. Yeah. We are... Okay, we do need to head north. So, back behind us a bit. 
but that's fine. We can do that once we're up in. I haven't been in the cockpit of 18 in years. up flaps up I think what we're gonna do for f the f shits and giggles Yeah, I'm going to get down way down to the deck at the lake. Saw the Blue Angels not long ago. Nice. So when I was in the service, I uh, was in the Navy and I worked up on the flight deck. And so I got to have lots of fun with the aircraft there. And then during my shore duty time, I was down in uh, Meridian, Mississippi at uh, Naval Air Station Meridian. And so that was, so what the Meridian Air Station was, was kind of a, a test plane, a test thing for young officers and pilots that were coming up to get them. So we had arresting gears like they would have, but we had them on runways and stuff. And the Blue Angels would pop down every once in a while to do some practice stuff. So I got to direct Blue Angels around and hang out with the pilots. And it was, it was a fun time. I really enjoyed it. That's kind of my claim to fame on that one. Twenty sixteen? No, I was out by twenty sixteen. I was in the service from what? Oh, three to 11 to 10. Yeah. By the end of 2010, I was out of the service. All right, let's get down close to water. Shall we? It's pretty up here, by the way, I'm guessing this is pretty close to your home airport. How close will this thing let me? I don't remember. That was a long, long time ago. I was, last time I worked airfield in Meridian would have been 2009 time frame. So 13 years ago, since I was down stationed at a Meridian.
Oh, I remember reading about that. Let's drop the rest of the way down to the deck. See how fine-tuned my uh, my stick is here. I don't want to crash. Nah, we're still a thousand feet up. We can get closer. And faster. Nine sixty. Oh, this feels so close. Back the other way. That was cool. Is the bridge ahead or is it off to the that side? All the twirls I did and suddenly going up to 10,000 feet threw me off of where I was. Uh, let's see. Ooh, is this going to crash? Ah, there's the bridge. I see it now. I don't know if the Mackinac Bridge is tall enough to fly under or not. I wonder if I can go from here down to my home airport and fly across all of Michigan. How long would that take it? 500 knots. I'm 
sure I could do some uh, configuring to figure out exactly where I was at and how where I was going with it. It's pretty much a straight shot south. I'll bet you we could find uh, my home airport. We'll have to do that. Once we get, we should check the bridge out. I'll whip south and we'll see if we can get all the way down to my home airport and see how that looks. Down a thousand foot deck. Have some fun with this for a sec. Give me a second. Well, we're about to stall this fucking thing out, aren't we? There we go. Now I'm gonna try to I'm gonna see if I can't I can't eyeball all the way down to my home airport in Indiana. This could be fun. I wanna fly down along the bridge. That was phenomenal. All right, let's see what we can do with this. All right, I think if I go straight south, I'll get somewhat close. And I wonder if there's enough Indiana landmarks that I can recognize from the air to figure out where I'm at. Without turning on the points of interest stuff that shows the towns, though that would be so much more helpful if I did that. Where am I right now? I just left uh, the Mackinac Bridge and I'm going straight south from Mackinac Bridge. I should be able to hopefully find it. I don't know. See, the problem is I don't, I won't know where I am. Oh yeah, I'm still in Michigan.
but I figured at 600 knots, almost the speed of sound, I can get there pretty quickly. bridge is bigger than the Golden Gate? Uh, possibly longer? I don't know if it's taller, but I do know that it is longer, I believe. It might be taller. Straight south of the east of Fort Wayne, but not by much. Right. That's why I was kind of hoping I can get here. If I can get down there. So I'm trying to do this all visually with no GPS references, just compass references. So we'll have to see how well I can do with eyeball visualing, visualizing this just knowing I need to hit south a little bit. And I'm trying to stay under five. I'm, I'm definitely staying under 5,000 feet. I'm trying to stay right around 3,000 feet the entire way. Because, you know, absolute annoyance to anyone that I'm flying over. I'm point nine six Mach one. Oh no no no! Too high! Too high! Too high! Bring it back down! Bring it back down! Bring it back down! There we go. Too much the other way. This is roughly. I mean, I could bring up, I could bring up my VFR map at this height. Drifting a little east. Inside loop. If you're too far east, that's going to be the question. I don't have reference points to when I'm getting close either. The east west highway driving like idiots will be I 94. Back, back over to the south. I'm curious if I can be able to spot out the city and stuff. Yeah, I'll probably hit 75, I 75 before I hit 94. So that comes out of Lansing, right? The problem is, I don't have my normal. See how the bridge is always clogged up? Oh, I can imagine. Like, normally I could get a sense of time, but I've never flown 
consistently between two points that I know kind of the distance at 600 knots before. So like gathering how fast I'm going and how much how much area I'm passing over is a little more difficult because I have no internal reference points to this. All I know is I'm heading mostly in a southern direction. So bad there was a car crash. Oof. You recognize the terrain? See, I've flown enough over northeastern Indiana that I should be able to hopefully recognize the terrain once I get there. But I don't know for sure. It's like, this is one of the weirdest, uh, weirdest challenges that this has turned into for that I just placed on myself is trying to figure out if I can go from the top of Michigan right before the UP all the way down... Well, here's the thing. If I... Otherwise, you'll end Northwest Ohio. Yeah. So, what I'm kind of... Hmm. Will I be able to see Erie, though? That's the big question. Will I be able to see Lake Erie? Like, if I was higher, I could get more, more data sets. If I veer off too far east, if I veer off too far east, I'll end up toward Detroit and all that. But, yeah, I don't know. I won't see Erie. I'm, I'm too far landlocked for that. Hey, Ethereal, yeah, this game is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, wow, I'm getting too high. I mean, I could angle myself down until I hit Lake Michigan. The biggest question is going to be is, can I spot out the city from under 5,000 feet? Oh, wow. That just suddenly switched over the cloud cover. That was interesting. All right. I'm angled a little bit more west. Okay, we're back down at 3,000 feet, which is kind of where I want to try to sit. Try landing in a forest? Ooh. Crash my plane. I want to see if I can do this. Like, now that I've gotten myself all hyped up for this... With no other guidance, never doing it before, at this speed and at this altitude. Because, I mean, I could go up to 10,000 feet, and then I'd be able to spot the city out. But the question is, is can I spot the city out at under 5,000 feet, or right around 3,000? I'm trying to stay at 3 as much as possible. But will I be able to recognize and see what I need to see at 5,000 feet and then find the airport? I mean, if I find the city, I'll find the airport. It'll, it'll be that that's that's a given. I know that I can do that. There's a town of some sort.
it's the speeds that are killing me on this channel on this little thing that was grayling hmm All right, so if you are watching and looking at map-wise, we're trying to push for Fort Wayne. Not too far from Gaylord. <coughs> so we're trying to push down toward and get to Fort Wayne, Indiana, which is northeast. The larger, it's the large city in northeast Indiana. That's where I'm trying to kind of angle and get toward. Might have gone a little too far west. I'm not sure. So that's what I'm shooting for. Oh shit, I need to... Here we go. All right, what would this be then? At what point do I bring up the VFR map and find out where I am? That's going to be the question. Because north-south, I have no reference of where I'm at. Like, how far down Michigan have I gotten? Back down a bit. I'm getting dangerously close to 3,000 feet again. Keep glancing up at my second window to see if I have the map up there so I can see where I'm at in the journey, but then I realize I got nothing tracking this thing. This is all eyeballs. They aren't taking away... Oh, yeah. Um, once I finish this off, I will probably get off stream so I can go do that. Then again, I just crashed Flight Simulator with a memory error. Well, that sucks. 
I don't even know where I was. I guess you can't fly that low that fast for that length of time, huh? No, we'll never know. <laughs> I'll try that next time I, uh, I fly. We'll definitely have to give that a shot. All right. Um, I do have to at least record part. Yeah, I know. All right, guys, I think I'm going to bail off stream for the night. I got to do a real quick recording before something crashes on a different game. Um, I'll be back tomorrow night. I will be playing RuneScape, though. Um, they're doing the wild update. And so we'll be checking out the wild update and doing some crazy wildly stuff or the wilderness update. So, yeah, tomorrow night will be... Uh, will be runescape 6 p.m eastern time i will be back um flight sim is going to be back on the permanent rotation every sunday so yeah have a great night guys and we will uh we'll catch you guys tomorrow night thanks for coming out thanks for the subs i highly appreciate it and if you do enjoy flight sim and you want to do uh kind of a career mode check out aviatife um i've got a little over 400 um 400 flights in there it's uh web-based they do have support for a uh, career mode for xboxes and that whole thing but uh yeah check out oh uh, let me try it this way There we go. So they've got they've got modes in there for Xbox mode. They've got um, challenges that go through and all sorts of fun stuff. If they're the developer took a small hiatus for a little bit and is back full steam ahead as of today, actually. Um, we had... we had pretty good pretty good run of of things going on so anyway i will catch you guys tomorrow have a great night you guys are awesome and uh yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow if you guys want to come out until then be safe fly safe see you guys tomorrow